Hello, hello, party people. What's going on? It's time to cook. I need theme songs. I need theme songs so bad. Um, you guys, it's so beautiful out in Chicago right now. I wish I was grilling up on my roof, but I couldn't take you with me if I was grilling. So here we are. Hello, Sheena. Hello, Mariah. Mariah, cute lady shoulders. Thank you. Here they are. Um, Mariah, I need you to update everybody. Can I show? I'm going to show off the photo. The bus is fairly hot. Um, Mariah is currently making my butter chicken recipe from last week, two weeks ago, three weeks ago, last week. Are you talking about the Indian butter chicken? Yeah, was that last, that was last week? week right? oh, okay, cool. Um, look at it. She's making the butter chicken and it looks so good. I know. Hers looks better than yours. Hers does look better than mine. And you know what else she said? No pouch rice here, yo. Hey. No pouch rice. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Hey, I thought the rice tasted great. Yeah, I know you did. Oh, it looks so good. I would like to eat that. Anyways, I don't get to eat that because I'm cooking here. Oh, look at all your birthday cards. I know, look at all my birthday cards. Thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm excited for this one. So I'm keeping the, like, meal tonight is just a super easy, basic recipe. It's just a pasta with um, pesto and chicken sausage from Trader Joe's. Everything is basically pre-made, and it's just throwing it together. But I wanted to keep that recipe super simple because I went to an event, and I won an, a raffle, which is crazy because I don't ever win things. But I won a Bake It box which is like a, imagine like HelloFresh, but for baking. Alex, can you actually take a picture of me and I'm gonna post it to my Instagram and be like, working with the Bake It box. Yeah, um, let's get some content. Yeah, but uh, so I'm gonna be making these lemon ricotta cookies as well. Just do like one of the far photos. I like those for this the best. Oh, like with, with like, so it looks like you're on set? Yeah, we're on set. Um, so yeah, that is the plan tonight. Pasta and cookies, which is weird because it's really, warm out and you would think that I would make like a salad or something but pasta and cookies it is also because it's so warm out I think I'm gonna have a bevy but like are you guys having a bevy because I don't want to have a bevy alone are you gonna have a bevy I'll have a bevy you'll have a bevy yeah you talk all right about it. everybody else get in the chat and let me know is this, is this what you had in mind are bevies right going to be had let's um, see let's see like beer yeah and now can you write on it yeah. Can you post you it and write on it? Story right now? Yeah, I believe oh, in man. you. Okay. I know. What do you want me to say? Cooking with Kai live now, featuring at Bake It Box. You got this. I believe in you. Cool. No bevy working still. We hate that. We hate that for us, especially with how nice it is out right now. Sam just texted me said, I'll have a bevy. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, <laughs> why aren't you in the chat? A mango white claw. All right, we're fucking doing it. Here we go. Oh, God, I forget that I try like not to curse on YouTube when I do this. It's okay. Ooh. Do I try my fancy ones that they gave me for my birthday? Yeah, do it. They're like yeah, really box. highly alcoholic though. Show the box. What? Show the box. I didn't keep the box. Oh, you didn't keep the box. No, I didn't Show keep the box. Game. All right. Can we do polls on here? Did you ever find that out? Uh, maybe I haven't looked it up though. So okay. I will not. I'm not going to play with it right now. These are cacti spiked seltzers. They have 7% alcohol, so it's quite strong. Cacti is made with 100% blue agave from Mexico with natural flavors and is refreshing and a bold taste. I heard they just taste like alcohol, but I'm excited. This one's pineapple. Female Tweety said hola. Hola, female Tweety. All right, here we go. Let's try it out. Oh, it does taste boozy. It's good though, I like it. First time I heard you curse now. I know you're really from Chicago. Funny part is I'm not actually from Chicago. I'm from the Bay Area in California. I don't know why I did this. That was weird. Um, yeah, I actually curse like a sailor. I just try and tone it down for you too, which is funny. Okay, let's get some ice and pour my bevy and let's get this party started. How's everybody's week going? Happy Tuesday. Oh. All right. All right, there we go. There we go. I need a straw. Can you give me double can, please, sir? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh, I just spilled. I'm a fool. All right, little seltzer. This is fun. It's just so nice out right now. Oh, yeah, she's boozy. It's only 7%, but it tastes like a lot. Oof. I don't know how much I like that. It tastes very alcoholic. Okay, we're going to roll with it. Um, cookies are going to go to the side. I'm going to do those second. First, I got to get this pasta going. All right. 
So you're just going to fill up a pot. Um, all of my pasta ingredients are from Trader Joe's. I didn't do this on purpose. I just happened to get all of my ingredients from Trader Joe's. So, also I don't have a lemon. All my lemons I need for the ricotta cookies. So we're going to use a lime in this pasta. It's going to be fun. But I have some arugula we'll mix in. This is the best pesto in the whole world. It's so much better than like, um, oh, that was stupid. It's so much better than any of the like shelf staple pestos because it has so much less oil and it's just way more flavorful. Highly, highly recommend the vegan kale cashew pesto from Trader Joe's if you have not tried it. Today was good. Sat on the patio for about an hour after work. Sunny and 80 degrees in Cleveland. That sounds lovely. Um, I am also using the spicy jalapeno chicken sausages. These are my personal fave. You honestly cannot go wrong, but I like these ones a lot. And then, is this enough pasta for the two of us? While my water is boiling, can somebody tell me in the chat if I need more pasta than this for Alex and I? I feel like this is a fine amount, but I'm also not entirely sure. But this is the brown rice pasta from Trader Joe's, which I really like. I think it's a good texture, so we're going to work with that. Um, but I can always mix in a secondary pasta if need be. Hot in Cleveland. I don't know why yo has become a thing, but it's here to stay. I can feel it. Hot in Cleveland, yo. Hot in Cleveland, yo. All right. There's so little prep that actually needs to go into this pasta. So let's just get started so I can bake some cookies. Ow, I just pinched my finger in the camera. All right. There we go. Can you see? Yes, you can. I'm just going to cut up these sausages. I think I'm going to use three, two, three. I'll do three. I don't have a lot of veggies to go in this, so i got to fill it with something. This knife was well, not my best choice. Here we go. Um, Alex will need a cliff bar if that's all your pasta. But I'm making cookies, too. Mm, I'm just going to do that amount of pasta. Otherwise, like, I think I might add frozen broccoli to it as well. I just need, we need more veggies in our pasta than just the arugula. And I'm going to cut these. Oh, it smells like barbecue outside. We grilled last night. We grilled some shawarma chicken thighs and some asparagus. Oh, and some halloumi. Was I supposed to say, like, add a filter or something? I'm not good at this whole Instagram thing. No, it's fine. All right. Kai is on YouTube featuring bacon bots. Good job. Great. Post it. Thank you. Doing it. I know. Normally, if, like... A brand wanted to be featured, they'd probably pay me. But Bakey Boxes is like female run company that just started in Chicago. And they gave it to me for free because I won it at an event. So that was very nice of them. And I'm excited to make some cookies. All right. I've got these chopped up. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna add some broccoli. That's what I'm gonna do. The rest of these sausages, the saucisson. The saucisson can go in the freezer. There's much less people on today than there's been previously. Why do you think? Does that make you feel? A little, a little sad, maybe. I don't know. Why do you think that is? I don't know. It's like on the ground. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I just have a bag of broccoli florets. It will pick up as we go. It will pick up. Halloumi cheese. We use to make a marinated halloumi and tomato toast on crostini toast all the time. That sounds so good. I love, what are you doing? We're on a beer. Oh, okay, sorry. I love halloumi. What are you doing? I don't know. I don't know why I got really weird about that. Yeah, what are you um, up to? <laughs> my face. I just watched it back and I, went, I like yeah, double took. What are you doing? Yeah, I know. Um, halloumi cheese is one of my absolute favorites. All right. You're going to throw this in a pan. That makes this probably because it's so nice outside. That's why people are watching. That's why people, oh, that is probably, I wonder if that is why people aren't watching. I wouldn't be watching right now. I would be outside. That actually makes a lot of sense. Hey, Sheena. <laughs> oh, I was like, I was just like what she said. I know, I'll, oh, it pops up on your screen faster than it pops up on my screen. Oh, really? So I didn't see Sheena say, hey, BFF, Alex. I was just like, why are you randomly shouting at Sheena? Because where's my boyfriend, Lulu Bunch? Lulu, do you want to see your girlfriend? Look at him. Look at him in his little bed. Oh, he's emerged. There he is. Do you want to see your girlfriend? Oh, do you love her? Louis' haircut's so bad, but it's so cute. Oh, you want dinner. That's what you want. God, I haven't fed him yet. Oops. 
supposed to feed them like every day. I know, I do feed them every day. Okay, we're gonna just throw this in a pan and let these cook down. So the broccoli warms up and- Angie, says hello, totally lost track of time. <laughs> Angie, welcome. <laughs> hey, honey bunches. Um, all right, midstream break, I'm gonna take a break and feed little Lou. Midstream, it's not midstream. We went on a really long walk this morning and so, Lou is a hungry boy. We gotta feed him. And I'm slowly. We walked to Navy Pier. We did walk to Navy Pier. Navy Pier is still closed though, but I think it's opening or it's opened and it was just too early in the morning. I'm not entirely sure. All right, let's give this little man his dinner. We're slowly incorporating more exciting foods into Louie's life so that way hopefully we can feed him cool things without him vomiting every single time. Kevin Colbert says, Louie, I love you! <laughs> That's Debbie Dew. Is that Debbie Dew? I thought Debbie Dew had a different. Oh, that is not Debbie Dew. Sorry. Debbie Dew is D E V I M. Debbie Dew had me cracking up today, though, because he messaged me on Instagram. And um, when I posted that sandwich that I had at lunch today with Steph, yeah. and he was like, Details, please share. Where is this from? But it says it on the screen. And he replied and was like, Just kidding. Ignore me. I'm an idiot. And I was like, It's a great sandwich. Here you go, Lulu. All right. Now that the Louie break is over, what do I need? We can use this one for the pasta. I like to get my uh, sausages like decently crispy. Do you have any camera over there? Yeah, that's probably a good idea. I don't really have anything going on over here. And then pasta water is still boiling. My hair has got to go up. Louis, I love you. Let's see. Does anybody have any good news? Anything fun been happening? I feel like the mean girl's mom. Tell me the four on one. What's the sitch? <laughs> Can you turn on the AC? It's hot. I have, now that I have the stove on. Yeah. Yeah. What are the balls? Oh, wait. <laughs> what? <laughs> Marisol, I'm not <laughs> exactly sure what you mean. I also just emailed you today. I emailed her today. Um, the, the, by the balls, do you mean the green ones, which are broccoli, or do you mean the sausages, which are cut up? I'm not quite sure. Um, got your first vaccine, Can, oh, second, it definitely says second, sorry, Sheena, I cannot read. Um, congratulations, and some vacays planned, where are you going, that's fun. All right, graduating Saturday, cheers to that. Congratulations, Devin, you made it, it's a trek. Also, I'm really sorry that your last year was during a pandemic, but hey, you're done. Oh, in Louis' bowl. Oh, that makes so much more sense. I was like, what balls are you talking about? Um, Louis turned into a fat boy, and so we have to put golf balls in his food bowl. Otherwise, he'll literally eat it in like a second. It looks like I'm not wearing a top after this. That's okay. Just, um, yeah, it's one of those streams. Yeah, no. Um, but uh, <laughs> yeah, so the golf balls are to like make it so he has to move them around when he eats. Otherwise, it is it. He eats it too fast. Zoila, 83Q says. Zoila, I made it to another live, yay! Getting dinner ready. Holy crap, Miami, New Orleans, and Aruba? That's awesome. I'm getting my second shot on the 11th and hopefully I can see my dad. I haven't seen him in almost two years. Angie, I feel that so deeply in my soul. I'm seeing my dad, I get my second shot on Thursday, but my dad is already like fully, completely vaccinated. And I see him on Friday and I haven't seen my dad I saw him for dinner one night last year, but besides that, I haven't really spent time with my dad since July of 2019, not due to any reason except for the pandemic. And then on Monday, we are flying to Mexico, so there will be no live stream next week. I will post about this again, but no live stream next week because I'll be in Mexico seeing my mom for the first time since October of 2019. And that woman is gonna cry, I can tell you right now. Speaking of which, can you message her and remind her that I'm on stream right now because she forgets every week now that I've moved to YouTube. Yep. All right, those are sizzling. I'm gonna start doing the prep work for the cookies. Um, that's gonna be too fast. All right, I have not made these before, so I'm just following this ingredients thing. Step one, prepare dry mix and lemons. Zest one lemon, about two tablespoons for cookies and glaze. One lemon. What are all the things I have in here? I have lemons, I have eggs, powdered sugar. That was a lot of powdered sugar. All purpose flour. I'm really excited that you get to see your mom. Thank you. I am very excited too. This is butter. And Andrew's excited. Um, granular sugar. Something in here spilled. 
I don't know what this is on my hands. You smell sugar. Like, is that it? Like, if you put, if you put sugar and salt next to each other, and, like, could you tell which is which by smelling them? Uh, less so by smelling them and more so because um, the ones, shine, like sugar is sparklier than salt. Yeah. So I'd probably be able to tell them apart. Well, yeah, if I see them but not smell them, I could do a you would know. No, I don't think so. Anna Pimentel says, I really enjoy watching your videos. I love your personality and your positive energy. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Anna. That's super sweet. I uh, am super appreciative of the amazing community that makes up you guys on here because I feel like Everyone can be so mean on the internet, and I am just surrounded by beautiful, lovely humans all the time. Right. Oh my god. Icing yes. requires a lot of powdered sugar, yo. Ugh, I'm gonna do like minimal icing, because that just sounds like a lot. Um, We're not big sweet people. What? We're not, big, We're sweet. not big sweet people. Sugar has more facets, so it sparkles. Salt is also typically cubicle, so you can tell shape wise. Interesting. I know that you can see the difference, guys. Like, that's clear to me. What I was asking you is if you can smell the difference. Yeah, okay. I'm not even sure that you actually. Could see the difference if you did it. I could. Um, anyways, hi Debbie Do. Debbie Do, I just brought up how you uh, <laughs> asked me where that sandwich was from. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, oh. Speaking of how amazing of a community you guys are, you guys, I was getting weird messages on Instagram. It, I never get like, I never get guys that slide into my DMs because I very clearly have a boyfriend who I'm obsessed with, and so I'm just like, I don't know. I don't ever get like guys being weird. Also, hi mom. Um, also, I think because I'm not a, <laughs> I'm not a hot girl. Somebody called me and was like. I love you on YouTube because you're just so weird. And I was like, that is really my niche here. Um, anyways, I don't get weird messages like that. And I started getting these weird messages from this guy. And uh, when I posted about me crying from the kid getting shot here in Chicago, he responded to me and was like, I don't have my volume on. Did your boyfriend finally hit you? And I was like, weird thing to say. And then uh, I don't even remember what the other thing was or if he even replied or if he just said it out of the blue. But he sent a sticker of a pulsating eggplant and I was like, can we, can we stop this? Get out of here. Who are you? So I blocked him. I never have to use the block. I don't usually get weird things, but I did that day. And the man has been blocked. Um, everyone be sure to thumbs up this video. Thank you, Mariah. You are the goat. I love you. Um, I saw you follow Ashley, and she was like, hey, I didn't realize Mariah was your re like in real life friend, Mariah. And I was like, like I have a in real life friend, Mariah, too. And I was like, yeah, why? And she was like, oh, she followed me. And I was like, wrong Mariah. That's Mariah May. And I was like, Mariah's like an OG on the channel, follows in the streams. From the Twitch days. From the Twitch There's days. There's a group that's like from the OG Twitch days. <laughs> wow, that comment is unbelievable. Some people never seem to surprise me anymore. I know. It's a, uh, you, it just, it always gets weird. Ooh, my pasta's, my water's boiling. All right, pasta's going in. I'm just going to dump in the whole thing. What? what are we we're making, we're making like a simple pesto pasta. Um, with chicken sausage and uh, broccoli, all from Trader Joe's. And then I am also making, oh, oh, I caught it. That was terrifying. I'm also making lemon ricotta cookies from a bake it box that I won. All right, they're crisping up. We're gonna turn it down a little lower. Yum, 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 yum. All right, I was so lost on Twitch, I'm glad you're here. You know what, I'm gonna be completely honest, I was also super lost on Twitch. Um, shit's confusing. I feel like even though they do have it set up now for like people who cook and like ask me anything or whatever else is on there, it really still just feels like it's designed for gaming. It is. Well, I know, but like, it doesn't feel like a platform where they've like adapted for the masses and I was just constantly at a loss. All right, let's see. I feel like we're close to having this lemon zested. Ryan makes Ashley a super fun to follow too, Art. I know, I love her. We gave Ashley a big pep talk today and we were like, you can do everything. <laughs> yeah, hopefully she's more active on Instagram. I know. Or on YouTube, or both. No, I think she needs to hone in on her IG game because that's what she's really good at. Mm -hmm. oh, I didn't post that picture. I don't really want to post that picture. Really. Remember when you didn't have a wireless mic? Wow, the struggle days. Oh my gosh. That was the worst. Yeah, we're tripping over it all the time. Legitimately actually broke a webcam on camera. Oh yeah. Okay. That's about two tablespoons though. I'm going to zest the other lemon too. Should I bring the camera back over here to show you make cookies? Is yeah, I think you probably should. Okay. People are... Texting me. We're getting fan mail. No. 
Dude, you'd be shocked at how many people message me and were like, well, not how many people message me, but like, especially real estate clients and stuff, and they'll be like, what's your P.O. box? And I'm like, you think I'm cool enough to have a P.O. box? I absolutely am not. How cool do you have to be to have a P.O. box? I don't know, but not this, not a lot cooler than me. My mom says, will we be cooking next week? Mom, we can't stream from Mexico. Like, we need Alex's big old fancy computer. Oh, my God. You could only Instagram live, and that would be as cool. I could Instagram live it. It wouldn't be as cool. It wouldn't kind of be cool, though. Um, Jasmine says, this is so exciting, can't wait to see the final result. I know, me too. <laughs> I love seeing the final result because I get to eat it. I know, I would love to be able to cook with you, Mom, but but if we can't stream it, it kind of gets a little tricky. You should get a P.O. Box. You definitely, everyone stop with a P.O. Box. Absolutely not. I have a tiny one, so I don't have to use my address on return address when I ship orders. Oh, that's smart. Yeah, because you sell things. That makes sense. Um, we can send you coupon stuff. <laughs> what cute fun things would you send me? I already have Louie. Oh, can you put him in a chair? Oh, can I tell him about my idea for a cooking with Kai? <laughs> yeah, but put Louie in a chair first. Yeah. Alex did come up with a really good idea for uh, cooking with Kai. Hey, right, guys, and... hear me out. Wait, Louie, come here. He's like, oh, thank God. I thought All you'd right. never ask. All right, here's the idea. Cooking with Kai, chopped challenge. I go to the store. I get three mystery ingredients, and we reveal them to Kyra on stream, and she has to cook with those ingredients on a timer. What do you think? I think it'd be fun. I think I'd do pretty good at it. I'm just quite a creative lady. You could, s <laughs> yes, we could send you hard to find or regional ingredients. That's pretty fun. Oh my gosh, everybody loves it. <laughs> we should do it. It'd be fun. Yeah, All right, yeah, lemons are zested. <laughs> Let's see, are these pastas done? Yes, that'd be so fun to watch. Yes, to chopped challenges. Everyone likes it. I think it'd be I know. hilarious. Oh, pasta's not done. It's a really good idea. I like it too. All right. Now we squeeze both lemons into a bowl. Where's my big bowl? Is it clean? All right, let's turn off the sausages. Put this here. Are these dishes in the dishwasher? These are not clean, huh? Yeah, you were filming that video, so I didn't run it. Okay. Can you wash the big one? Alex? Yeah. Kai has to provide three lists of possible ingredients so there's variety. No, I, I, I wasn't even going to do anything. I was literally just going to send Alex blindly to the store. I think I, could, I think I could pull it off. I know you probably don't have a lot of faith in you. I think I could get the right stuff. I do. Well, I mean, the fun part is like getting weird things. I need you to wash that bowl though, dude. Which one? The big glass one. Or the red one, just one of those bowls. Um, finally made it better late than never. Welcome, love, we're happy to have ya. Um, oh, we, Alex, just to catch you up, Alex was just saying, um, we wanna do like a cooking with Kai chop challenge where we send Alex to the store and he picks up three different ingredients that I have to cook with. I think the part of the fun of it would be just like sending you to the store and seeing what you pick because it's going to be weird. Alex, I wouldn't, I wouldn't make it like so weird that it wouldn't be a good meal though. It'd be fine. As long as I like, you know how in Chopped they still have the pantry? Yeah, so I can like, still have like the should, basics. Then you should probably go to the, the store like the, before and just get like a bunch of just generic stuff. Yeah, as long as I have like chicken and like some veggies and things on hand, I can make something work. Yes, that'd be fun. Um, what if Kai cooks a subscriber's favorite dish? I am always down. Like, send me food recommendations, and I would love to cook them. I would like if you cook something that was like a challenge. Like, you're like, I don't know if I'm gonna pull this off. This is really difficult type thing. Hmm, like a souffle. Maybe. I don't know. A souffle would be really hard. I've never made a souffle. Or like some like super like specific cultural dish that you probably never even heard of or something. That'd be cool. Mariah just jinxed me on saying like, you got to make sure you're stocked up on the staples. So I have grains and pasta. All right. Lemons, lemons, lemons. Let's see. What do I do after this? Melt butter in my microwave for 30 seconds, seconds. All the butter? How much butter? All, oh, all the butter. That's a lot of butter. Is that right? Do I use all the butter? It doesn't really say. That's a freaking ton of butter. All right, here we go. All right. Um, 
Alex no. doesn't know what makes up a meal challenge. I know. Yeah, Alex goes grocery shop without a cash challenge. I want to send Alex to Trader Joe's on my behalf and just see what he comes up with because it would be funny. If for the, if I could, I'm confident I could get a good, I would do three items. I, I think that's where we'd go. Oh, all right. Welcome down to the world. Uh, can you name what one item would be right now? No, because I'd have to like, I'd have to do some research in terms of like, because like the three items could be like a banana, an apple, and a strawberry. You know, like you have to get like different food groups. Yeah. And I, and I don't like to have enough understanding of how meals work to get the right ones. So I don't know how meals work. All right. I am pouring the pasta out and letting it cool a little bit. Ow. I'm burning myself. Okay. Put that there. Let's give it a rinse. Diana Garcia says, Julia Tiles said there is never too much butter out of I know. I just, I am not Julia Child, that is for sure. I do not cook with that much butter. Katrina right. says, Alex's Trader Joe's haul would be a fun video, LOL. It would be fun. Also slightly terrifying. Okay. Done. Melt butter in the microwave for 30 to 60 seconds. We're going to do 30 because I'm afraid. I don't want you all to get into the trade or whatever. On what? She said you'd avoid calling it a chop challenge. I think we can take that risk. Yeah, I'm not worried about it. I guess you could say chop inspired. I don't know, I'm not a lawyer. Yo. <laughs> Yo. Okay. So, in a medium bowl, there's a lot of bowls See, in yeah, this. this is, your mom's, your mom's got, this is what I was thinking. You need like one protein, one vegetable, one carb or something. Yeah, my mom would be a good person to consult with this. I might have to consult Rose. Flour. So now in this bowl, I, is it melted? Uh, it's melted enough for now. We might put it back in for a little bit longer. All right, so first, in a medium bowl, I'm going to consider this medium. We're going to do flour. It's weird. I use the whole thing. Why do I feel like I shouldn't be using all of this? But I guess that makes sense. Oh, we got a, we got a question here, Pat. What? Sorry, I'm planning a trip to Chicago in July. Is it super hot and humid that month? Should I plan a different month? I'm coming from AZ. It will be hot. Like, definitely don't expect it to not be hot. Um, but 100%, you should still come. Hey, I didn't get salt. Oh, I'm supposed to have my own salt. One teaspoon. Sorry, sorry. Um, flour, baking powder, and salt. Okay. Um, no, but July, like, there is nothing better than a Chicago summer. 100%. Like, even if it's really hot that week, just come out. It'll be amazing. Go to the beach. You'll love it. It probably won't get miserably hot. Like, no. <laughs> it, like, rarely gets, like, that miserably hot. If, if you're coming from Arizona, it'll be a cool refresher. Um, make it three veggies. Kai doesn't look kindly on veggie lacking meals. I will need, as long as I have veggies on hand though, I can make anything work. Debbie Do said, where is this recipe from? Sorry if you already answered this. So this one's from Bake It Box. Um, I won a box of like baking goods. They send you like, it's like a Hello Fresh for baking. Um, and I won it at an event. And so now I have this box. And so I am cooking these cookies, which I thought would be fun because I never bake. Right, makes this Cleveland summer might be better. No. No way. No browns. All right, I'm going to use my electric mixer on the wet ingredients, but I can't find my regular mix whisk for the dry ones, so we'll just mix this on in here. So this is to make the cookie dough? Yeah, I got to make the cookies and put them in the oven so that way we can eat our pasta. Super Love says, uh, I'm super excited to hear that. I was just worried about the humidity. I'm not a fan. Thanks, guys, for the response. I mean, yeah, it'll be humid, but you'll be fine. All right, mix butter and sugar. I'm going to assume the, regu yeah, the regular sugar, not the powdered Sorry. sugar. Brian says, I'm not, a, I'm not a football fan, yo. <laughs> I knew that already. Alex did too. He's just, he likes to be difficult. They're being difficult. They're being difficult. She said Cleveland, I said go browns. It's just a reaction. All right, butter and sugar. Oh my God, it's so late. Hi. It's okay. Hi, Emily. Welcome to the party. I'm having a cocktail. This is so much sugar. God, I don't ever bake, so this is so weird for me. All right, here we go. There it all is. Are you going to, um, how's, the, how's the seltzer? What's your review so far? <sighs> seltzer is boozy. Does it taste? It tastes boozy. What does that mean? It tastes, do you want to try it? It's yeah. not super sweet. It just tastes very alcoholic, honestly. Um, I need this. 
made out of cactuses. I don't think it's made out of cactuses. Oh, it's good. It's boozy. It's not bad. It's strong. It's pretty good. Okay. Okay. Oh! Ah! Oh god. Oh my gosh. I don't know why this hand mixer is so much worse at this than regular hand mixers, but I swear it just sprays everything. All right, let's try again. All right, that is as good as that is gonna get. Jasmine Polito says, Green Chef is awesome for cooking. Can you imagine if Trader Joe's meal was something similar or how Target? Shut up. Can you imagine? That would be so... What is that? Oh, I didn't know Target has 15 minute meals. So you know how I would get those Hello Chef boxes? Hello Chef. Uh, Hello Fresh boxes? Yeah. Imagine if Trader Joe's had prepackaged like meal boxes. Oh my gosh. You should set up a partnership with Trader Joe's and, and like make those. If Trader Joe's would ever partner with me, I would do it in a heartbeat, but they will never. Which does make me respect them a little bit. Our Taylor says heading home to Chicago Thursday. Is the weather decent? Our Taylor, it is beautiful out right now. It's literally 80 degrees. We have our windows open and I'm wearing a tube top. That was turning with Alcina. Alcina, yeah. All right, one egg is with spin. Let's do the next one. Thanks, Mariah. It'll be up, it'll be in the 80s, I think, or upper 70s, says Angie. Nice yeah, one. it is absolutely beautiful. And he says, ooh, we drank it. Oh, we drank it. We drank in a boozy seltzer, too. Diva Tweety knows something that we all don't know. She says, the weather is about to drop. LOL, good old Chicago weather. No, female Tweety, take it back. What's it going to drop? <laughs> This hand mixer is the best thing ever. Also, sorry, it's probably really loud. All right, both eggs are in, one at a time. Now ricotta cheese. Use all of it, it says, so here we go. We're gonna add one ricotta cheese at a time because that looks like a lot. I think the ricotta spilled a little bit in the bag because they my hands are kind of sticky. That's a lot of cheese. Maybe this will be really good because I like it's cheese. One ricotta. What are you doing down there? What is he doing? Why is he up by my feet? You're eating something. Two ricottas. And half the lemon juice. That's probably about half. Might be more than half. And then half the lemon zest. Everyone is just driving up and down our street like blasting music because the weather's so nice. Windows down. I know, windows down. Lots of motorcycles, music on. Oh, that's a cool motorcycle. Is that? Oh, yeah. Okay. Baby blue with a big wheel in the front. Oh, that's cool. Alright. Whoa! Oh, a lemon juice! It's too big for me! Alright, here we go. Here we go. It's still waiting for our Ah! done less sugar. That's my one gripe here. I don't think I'm going to glaze them. That's just hella sugar. Do it the way they say. Oh, it's going to be so sweet if we glaze. They're, they're cookies. Okay, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> I bet you it's going to be good. I just like things to be sour. Alright. All right. Maybe just do like 80% of the sugar they give you then. Whatever. Alright. Um... Stir in dry ingredients and mix until combined. It should, should be glaze thick. Half. Glaze half is a good, that's a good move. Right, always has good moves. I know. I don't know what I'd do without the chat, honestly. We're gonna, I like that I keep using my boobs to rest this because I, so I can drink too. This is, I will say the seltzer is hitting in a nice way. All right. <laughs> I like it, I thought it tasted good. It does, it's just boozy. Like I can see, I couldn't drink a lot of them. I think like one would be good. What? How's that ever a complaint? 
What key? Alright. Uh, it's flying! We're gonna hamster for a second until I can make this a little less. Uh, no, it should be done after this. All right, we're gonna give it a good old hand mix. Ryan makes his love a functional boob, yeah. We love a functional boob. All right. Functional boob. Whoa, I'm spelling. Then for glaze, combine powdered sugar, remaining lemon juice, and remaining lemon zest, and mix until smooth. That's how you make glaze. That's it. things are happening. I feel like this would kind of be a fun one to do on Twitch. Because I feel like if I was random, I would enjoy screaming in this one. But oh well. Like if I didn't follow me and I saw me making cookies, that seems kind of fun to watch. And why, why is Twitch a better platform for that? I feel like people don't find random people on YouTube as much. Yeah, they do. I, I like when they're sure doing I, lives? I this is actually really good. Lives show up just like videos. I'm pretty sure at this moment, more people that are following you are not subscribers than subscribers. No way. Yeah. Wait, who the heck? I don't know this. Try this. Here. Oh yeah, I like that. No, it's good. That's good. Okay. Cookie dough. Check. Now in here, I'm gonna do the glaze. I'm, I'm gonna do it with less sugar because I just don't need that much of it and I'd rather it be really tart. This is so much powdered sugar. We'll do oh, it. Check it out. What? Sam's home cooking. He's got, he's got Cookie with Kai set up on his TV. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> and he's cooking too. Yeah, he's got, I think he's got a whole a whole setup. What are you cooking, Sam? Is he making a charcuterie board? Why doesn't he chat? I don't know. He's Because he's busy cooking. Oh, that's fair. All right. Lemon juice. We'll add the lemon zest. Bada bing, bada boom. And now I gotta somehow get all the dough off this. <laughs> what? I know, I did, um, I did less likely because I put more of the lemon juice in the batter in the first place, but I might have to add more sugar. Yeah, more sugar, oh well. Yes, these are the lemon ricotta cookies. My pasta is basically done. Um, I just need to add all the ingredients together, but I want to get these in the oven while I make the pasta. Oh, it's messy. Mm. Ugh. All right, we're gonna do it as it says. That tastes like lemonade. It's not thick enough. Hello, India. Welcome. All right, that's thick enough to be glazed. That's good. Mm. Enough of the blending. I think we're done blending. What? Did I literally just get plastic shards in this? I did. How much? Like I just, it was two pieces, I pulled it out, but like, look at this. All this just came out of there. Oh my gosh. Well, that's weird, all right. Yeah, that doesn't seem safe. They're not gonna do that, why? I only just pulled like, two, there was two pieces in there and I pulled it out. Okay, now what do I do? Spoon the dough and bake. Spoon into one tablespoons and two baking sheet. Bake in batches if needed. Bake for 15 minutes or until slightly golden. And then cool them and then glaze them. Well, you guys aren't going to watch me glaze them then because I'm not cooling them for 20 minutes after they bake for 15. That's ridiculous. Oh, yeah. What? We can you take them out and they can start cooling and we can eat pasta. And then we can well, we're going to eat the pasta when these go into the oven. Oh, okay. All right. I don't make things cute. I just make them taste good. So we're just going to kind of plop this on there. I will say this batter does taste really good though. So there's cheese in these cookies. There's a lot of cheese in these cookies. I've never heard of that before. Mm -hmm. The ice will slip right off if you don't wait for them to cool before icing them, yo. I know, so you're not going to watch me ice them because I 
Am well, not. You're literally not going to ice them? Like, that's your plan? We'll eat a few of them on stream with them not iced, and then I'll ice them when they cool later. But I'm not going to sit here for 20 minutes while I wait for them to cool. I don't have a, a what is it called, like a chiller? Like in chopped. Does that keep things iced? Or no, it, them quickly? it makes them cold quickly. Dang, this is so much cookie dough. Right, it says, I don't... I don't make things cute, I just make things taste good. Merch, please. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. Alright. I like your spacing on those cookies. Thank you. These are going in. I'm gonna have to freeze a bunch of this dough. Like, way too much dough. Alexa, set timer for 15 minutes. Can you bring this camera back over here? And this can go away. Louis is not interested. Where's the camera? What are we looking at? Um, I'm about to mix all of this, so. Okay. All right, so we are going to add in the pasta again. I should have drizzled this in olive oil, and I didn't, but it'll be fine. It's right, fine. We're fine. Then are these still warm? Mm -hmm. I'm going to heat up the sausage really quick, and then we'll mix it. I'm going to add this whole thing of arugula in here. Makes a few dozen. I think it says it makes like 40 something. Wow. Which is a whole lot of cookies. Yeah, that's what I need to do. I need to freeze, I think I'll freeze the dough though. Um should I freeze the dough or should I make the cookies and then freeze the cookies? Rose says chill dough, roll into a tube, seal in the plastic wrap, and freeze until needed. Yeah, that was my thought. I think I got that idea from my mom. Alright, so the arugula looks a little crazy now, but once I add this when it's all hot. Actually, we're going to turn this on heat. Marisol says that's a wet. That's what? That's a wet. That's a wet. Uh, What's a wet? That's a wet. The last thing Marisol said was stick them in the freezer. That's a wet. The dough. Too wet? I don't know. I don't know what they're saying to me. I don't speak chat. <laughs> I know. I'm confused. All right. So we have the arugula in there. I have the sausages and the... Um, Broccoli heating. I'm gonna add some pesto to this. We will add more. And even slice the frozen tube. Ooh, that's a good idea. Ryan Pink says flop, yo. <laughs> <laughs> and then preferably I would like to add lemon to this, but I didn't have any lemon, so we're gonna use a lime. Maybe I should do, I should, you know what, change a game plan. We are going to move this one off, we are going to move this one on, and we are going to toss all the pasta in here. Ah, so stupid of me. That was dumb. Careful of that cord. Careful of that cord. What about careful about your hands? My beautiful hands. Your hands will heal. The cord will forever be broken. That's honestly the rudest thing you've ever said to me. That's a rude thing to say. Yeah. I asked Alex the other day if he wanted to break up for a minute just to see if it was like, what it was like. And he told me no. I was kind of hurt. We settled on one second. Yeah, we broke up for one second. <laughs> so we're kind of off and out again. Oh, this is too much for this pan. This was a mistake too. Oh, well, here we go. I wish we had cheese for this as well, but I, alas, do not have cheese either. Right, because you didn't have any lettuce. You literally just closed the bunch. I literally just what? Squoze. Squoze a bunch. I know, but I needed both of those lemons for that recipe. They came with the recipe. Oh, they came out of the box? Yeah. So now I only have lime. Is that pesto? Yeah, it is. It is the kale vegan pesto from Trader Joe's. It is the best. Oops. Have you ever had a bad pesto? Ow. Yes, I have had a bad pesto. I don't like an oily pesto. You know where I've had a bad pesto, actually? Um, the pub. The pub? The pub had a bad pesto. The pub is a hometown restaurant in Alice's hometown. You also had a ton of cheese. Or cottage cheese. I know, but those it needed it for the recipe. stole it from the cookie box. I could have stole it from the cookie box. All right, let me taste it and see if it needs more. All 
Oh yeah, definitely makes one. I'm a heavy pesto kind of girl. Also because we're going out of town, so what am I going to do with this pesto? Did I set a timer for 15 minutes or did I just make that up? Okay. Wait, did she just say, did you set a baking timer? I don't remember. Yes. Mariah, why are we the same person? Yes, we're on the same page right now. All right, it looks pretty freaking good. Turn off the heat. I have like a very small amount of parm. You don't have any shredded or grated parm on your I just, I just added some grated parm. I only have a little bit though. And I'm gonna add the lemon. This is a lime, it's not a lemon, it's a lime. 47, now we got some people, hello. I'm making pasta. My cookies are in the oven. All right, one. Mariah makes says dance, 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 a dance, dance, dance. A dance, 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 and a dance, dance, dance. All right. All right, you want some pasta? Yeah. The correct answer was yes. Yes, thank you, beautiful girlfriend. I would love some pasta, please. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know. I think I'm going to add a little bit of salt and pepper to it. Some salt. Some pep. I need another bowl. Can I have another bowl, please? What are you, what are you asking me? I need one more of these bowls. Wash one? Yes, please. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it looks good. I love a pesto pasta. When do the cookies come out? Alexa, how much time is left on the timer? Eight minutes and 30 seconds. They look like cookies. It's good. I like it. Oh. Oh, ha. All right. You can't see him like aggressively shaking this wet bowl. Does your top have a built-in bra or are you wearing a backless bra? No, but it's like, <coughs> it's double lined in the front. So you can't see my nips is strong. Strong nips? My strong nips. But uh, it doesn't have a built-in bra or anything. And no, I am also not wearing a bra. I don't, in summer, I am a big fan of spandexy tops, sans bras. Sans bras. Oh, I need a fork. Oh, no, we have one. Just kidding. All right. Yeah. Yeah, we will eat this while we uh, wait for the things. All right, should we do like an AMA while we're lunging? Yeah. Or should we eat this first? Well, first let's tell them how good it is or bad. Okay. To be determined. I, mean, I don't know how good it would be bad. This is pretty simple. I know, it is a, this was a simple meal. I could have made this. You probably could have made this, to be completely fair. Yeah. Bone apple teeth. Bone apple teeth, Emily. Yeah, that's weird. Let's go up here. Is that less weird? Mm, it's fine. It's very hot. Yeah, it is. That's good though. That's really good. Mm. This is a happy meal. Mm -hmm. Not to be confused with a happy meal. Their chicken sausage and their pasta is just so good that like I feel like you can't make it and mess it up. Is that a challenge? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, if you put it in the dishwasher, it might be. Mm. <laughs> is that speech and text only? Mm. Well, I guess it's going to just make pasta pasta. Try your inspirational. You 100% should. It's so good. So I'm hoping my dad will cook on a live stream with me this weekend when he's here. Like maybe like a Sunday morning or something like random live stream. But I don't know what the heck he's going to want to make. Oh, we're going to do like an impromptu live stream? Yeah, I'll see when he wants to do it. I like that. Oh, scale of zero to one. 
It was a one. It's a one? Mm-hmm. It makes, oh, do you want to tell them about my zero? Oh my gosh. Uh-huh. You know, the other night Kyra made a frozen pizza. Let me show the picture. You guys think Kyra can cook? I thought so too, until she tried to make this frozen pizza. I don't understand how I messed up something so simple, so bad. And she added the, uh, what, what are the peppers? The spicy habanero peppers from Trader Joe's, they are so spicy. I like moved it when it was still too soft and it fell between the racks and just literally melted into a pan. It was horrible, an absolute disaster. And then it also, I put on these spicy, crispy habanero peppers and the oil of them just like infiltrated the whole thing. It was so painfully hot, it actually hurt to eat it. Yeah, it was the worst pizza I've ever made. It was had. the worst thing I've ever made. Yeah. It's probably the worst thing I've ever even eaten. Boo B wants to know what uh, pasta, pesto sauce you used. Oh, I brought it over and I didn't say it. This is the pesto sauce. It's the vegan kale, uh, cashew, and basil pesto from Trader Joe's. I don't get it because it's vegan. I get it because it is truly the best pesto in the whole entire world. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's making fun of your pizza. <laughs> I know, guys, it was so bad. Like, it was horrible. I, I'm like, I should have made the frozen pizza. I don't understand. I don't know how I did it so bad. That's what happens when you try and make pizza after karaoke and dumplings. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I feel weird eating like this whole meal on stream. Now it's just like a- Booby has that one. Oh, it's so good. Booby, you can't go wrong with it. <laughs> a functional booby. Mm. I just love pesto pasta so much. All right. The smoke line went up for that one for sure, huh? It did. Honestly, it was kind of undercooked. It was undercooked, <laughs> it just melted. Nope. Did you smoke line that day, though? No. Mm -mm. Literally melted through the pizza rack. Luckily I had a baking sheet underneath it so it didn't like catch on fire in the bottom of the oven, but it was an absolute disaster. We're on the same page, Mariah. All right, they're still coming away. Uh, yeah, you can chomp. I should leave the door shut so they can. No, you can chomp. Ready? Yep. There they are. They're slowly turning into cookies in there. All right, I'm gonna try and save the rest of my pasta to eat off stream so I can stuff my face. Um, Alexa, how much time is left on the timer? She never listens to me. Alexa, how much time is left on the timer? All right, two minutes, well, it's probably gonna be a little bit more because those need to turn a little bit more golden than that. We'll give it like three minutes. Still very pale and haven't spread much. They've spread quite a lot. They're definitely too pale though. I need them to turn a little bit more golden. But um, all right, ask me anything. Let's just do it. We've got like three, maybe four minutes depending on how long those go. So entertain me so I don't feel weird on stream and ask me questions that I can answer. Was it baking powder or soda? Powder puffs. It's a good question. They look pretty puffy. Baking powder, good question. Uh, it was baking powder in those. Wait, powder puffs. Yeah, baking powder. Good job. I would not have been able to figure that out. When you go back to the bins? Ugh, I don't know. But it was the most fun I've had in so long. I love thrifting, and then just doing it by the pound was the best thing ever. Oh, thank you, booby. <laughs> um, I am quarter Mexican, quarter Filipino, uh, half British. My dad is a... I'm first generation on my British side, so I'm actually an English citizen. My dad's like fresh off the boat. And then on my mom's side, both of my grandparents were immigrants, so I am um, second generation on both of them. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Give me more questions. I hate waiting for things to cook. Dun, dun. Otherwise, I just dance. <laughs> dance. Dance. Um, let's see, is there anything fun I can talk about while we wait? What meals do you want to eat? Mexico. Oh, mom, I literally dream about those enchiladas. I want those so bad. Enchiladas. Green sauce. I don't even care what it's on. 
Just give me like all the green sauce, and I'll be a happy camper. <laughs> Alex sounded like a dad calling his daughter when he said Alexa. <laughs> Alexa. Alexa. Oh, now she listens to me. This whore. All right. <laughs> How is that plant you just got from Trader Joe's? I saw your video and I got the same one. Where is it? This one over here. Oh, you put it over there? Yeah, because you didn't like it, so I put it in my space. Well, we just have the same one. It's different. This is like a different species. Okay. There it is. It's doing well. It looks pretty cute. It's He's very. Fine, not Kairos. All right, that's fine. This is not a joint custody plan. No? But what if I want it? Then you're going to have to steal it from me in the middle of the night. All right. Um. Favorite suburb in Illinois? I'm gonna be honest, I don't know anything about the suburbs. I think I just went to a suburb for the first time ever this last week. I can't think of a time. Oh, Alexa, stop. Alexa, set timer for two minutes. You moved downtown, you stayed downtown. Yeah, I'm a downtown kind of girl. I also don't have a car, so I literally never go to the suburbs. Downtown! Um, are you guys renewing or moving somewhere else when the Ooh. lease is up? Ooh, is this? Is this one of my exciting things I might have to say soon? There's, there's secrets. I don't know. I don't know. I can't say Just yet. Tell them that there are things in the works. There's things in the works and we're excited about them. Kind of looks like buttons. Kind of looks like buttons. The cookies? What kind of looks like buttons? I don't know what she's talking about. Um, what's your favorite drink? Favorite drink? My current favorite drink would be a whiskey sour. Very addicted to whiskey sours. Mm, yes. Nice what else? What, I like... I like a lot of tequila shots too. Whiskey sours and tequila shots are probably my go-tos. Where in Mexico are we going? We're going to San Miguel de Allende. And I'm very, oh, the plant looks like buttons. Um, I, yeah, it's where my mom lives and I'm very excited to go see her. I, they're playing music loud. <laughs> you guys should go to Six Flags this summer. Good old Gertie. <coughs> Hold up. Um, I have pepper in my throat. I'm gonna cry. Turn your cookies to tray so it's not hotter in the back of the oven. Thanks, mom. Were you gonna comment on Six Flags? I would love to go to Six Flags. Alex doesn't like amusement parks. <coughs> I don't like amusement parks, but we're talking about we should go. I'd be happy to go. Yeah, we should go. All right, the cookies have been turned. Go to that penthouse, huh? Yeah, we are not moving to a penthouse. Uh, we got a really good deal. I don't know. I don't want to give anything away. Sorry. Mezcal for Alex. You haven't had mezcal in a minute. I know. I've been saving it. Saving it for Mexico? Oh, yeah. I'm <laughs> to keep mezcal out. That was exciting. You better have awesome light in your new place, too. It's a definitely, it's definitely with them opening the oven so much. All right, we'll stop opening the oven. Um, yeah, light is a huge priority for us. I mean, do you see all, oh, you can't see them. We got all these plants up here. <laughs> Loca XOXO says, haha, meeting at Six Flags? Meet up at Six Flags. We'll Alec a, Alexa, stop. We'll get a pavilion. Can you imagine? That'd be horrible. That'd be so funny. Tequila with a pickleback chaser. Ooh. Look, Cindy, I'm here for a pickleback chaser. Never had it with tequila. Sounds pretty good. Yeah. I like pickles a lot, so I feel like it'd be good. Big pickle guy. Um, big pickle guy. Oh, I was going to open it again. Mariah was going to yell at me. All right, let's see. Alexa, set timer for two minutes. Mm. And then I'm pulling him out, and that's it. No more after that. Um, all right, let me ask a question to you guys. Oh, okay. If you're in Chicago, or even if you're not in Chicago, I guess, what is the one summer thing that you have to do in Chicago? Like, whether it's a rooftop or, like, an activity, what is the number one? Try, Kiki, try to live in Chicago. Do it. Do it, girl. It's the best. I think we need to do a giant Airbnb meet up with a huge kitchen so we can all hang. So here's my idea actually. My mom hasn't even heard this and this very much involves her. Next time my mom comes and visits, I really want to do like meetups. The idea of it kind of scares me because I'm really afraid that like I would do something like this and no one would show and I'd be really sad. But I'd love to do like a group yoga class because my mom teaches yoga and have everybody come meet in a park and my mom just does a yoga class for anyone who shows. And like we can all meet and like make friends and I'll be there. Yoga in the park, and it's let, like, when it's about me, it makes me feel weird. But if it's just like everybody, let's all meet in a park and do some yoga together, like, doesn't that sound fun? Mom, would you teach a yoga class to all of my internet friends? Tell me, let me know. All right, we have things to do in Chicago this summer. Go to Stitches Midwest, it's a yarn festival. Stitches Midwest? We should oh, Mariah said that. I was like, who said this? Because you need to be best friends with Mariah. 
A day of walking around the city and shopping. That sounds awesome. Museums and rooftops for sure. North Avenue Beach, COVID friendly. I am here for that. Um, it's hosted just outside of Chicago. Very cool. I'm in Gurney, Wadsworth, and my birthday is next month, and I'm trying to go to a drag queen show. Oh, that's so fun. We went to one like the first summer we were in Chicago. It was so fun. My mom said yes, everybody. My mom would teach us all yoga, and we could all hang out. Booby I think it'd be so fun. Booby's got to fly in from San Fran. Booby, you got to fly in from San Fran. It's OK. Make the trip. Chicago's pretty cool. I'm from San Fran. Very cool. All right. Um, let's check them. All right, that's it. Lum says I'm going to go to that big barbecue festival. Alexa, stop. You guys, why do I feel like they still should be more of like brown than this? Maybe, you should Maybe I don't. Should we just try one? Here, let's get this camera. I think they are actually fully covered. Here, let me get that close up. Okay. okay. What does it say? So slightly golden at edges. I mean, they are slightly golden at edges. And then I have to let them cool it, and then I have to glaze them. But I'm not doing that because it takes too long. So I'm going to eat one. Maybe they're just that color. I mean, they're golden at the edges. There's cheese in them. Like, how cooked do I want them to be? At the taste. Are you talking about the taste of Chicago? We hated the taste of Chicago. Yeah, it was very, it wasn't that fun. Mm -hmm. the, the tents weren't even that great. Like, it was all, like, very, like, Fast foodie. It was very fast foodie, like carnival food. Yeah, it was like carnival food. And it was so hot. It was so hot, and like it wasn't. And it was very, kind of expensive. It wasn't accommodating. Like it didn't. It did. It felt like exhausting to be there. It wasn't like, oh, this is a nice day. Like sit down on like a. Yeah. Or something. We didn't love Taste of Chicago. All right, you want to try half a cookie? Well. <laughs> yeah. They're yeah. so hot. Well, I was gonna just pull one off while we let them cool. You gonna burn yourself? Probably. All right, it's hot. Ow. Ah. Ah, ah, ah. It used to be really good having gone in years. I actually have heard that. I've heard that it's gone down. Ow. Recently. Ha. Ah. Right, you should have. Maybe not. Can I dip it in the glaze? I'm going to do that. <laughs> really? Yeah, why not? All right. It's my party. I can cry if I want to. That's pretty lemony. Look at that. All right, here we go. I like that. I like it too. I like it a lot. It reminds me of like a lemon ricotta pancake mixed with like lemonade. Ooh, I like that. Yep. That's good. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and give it a one on a scale of zero to one. Yep. I'm a fan. I like it. All right. Cool. Good. Let's wrap it. Did you finish your like meal? Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm going to go finish dinner. I'm also going to watch um, uh, Gilmore Girls. Mariah, i got to warn you. Uh, you said a name of a character who hasn't showed up yet, and now Alex hasn't forgotten. And there's just, I'll message you. It's funny. Anyways, do the frozen tube like your mom suggested. Yeah, that's going to be the move. That will, because I do not need all these cookies. I need that many cookies, and then I need this all to hang out in my freezer so I can make more. You really like it. I like these. Yeah. Yeah, I like these a lot. You don't like cookies, too. Yeah, these are good. Well, that's exciting. All right, cool. Oven light's still on, thank you. Where is it? There it is. All right, guys, I'm gonna go. I love you all. This was really fun. I'm not gonna stream next week. There's just no way we can do it for Mexico, right? I don't think so. I don't think so either. So we'll see you too. Uh, if I, maybe Instagram? Maybe we'll do it on Instagram? We can, if you, if you feel up to it. We could try it on Instagram just to like hang out. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll throw up a poll. Not sure. Mom, I'll be there next week this time. Get excited. All right. I love you guys. I'm going to go eat. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.